so uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today i'm going to be uh, talking to us on how to integrate google sign in uh, into our application we are not going to be using the old way of um, signing in and using google we are going to be using the google identity you know um, google they've changed their method of uh, signing in now so you now have to use the Google identity. Google identity sign in. Even let's just go to the sign in documentation so you can see for yourself. So if you have been doing it the old way, the old way has been deprecated. So you can see it's stated here that uh, by March 31 to 2003, it'll be fully the deprecation will be complete by then. So even if you have the old one, it will still be working, but it's good for you to move to the Google identity, which is the uh, the new way of signing to the web. So um, let's just, without wasting much time, let's just dive into the whole thing. So first of all, you come to your Google Cloud, uh, Google Cloud console. If you don't have an account, it will ask you to create an account, but I've already signed in, so it's not going to ask me for that. Um, so you want to create your project. But if you have a project already, like these are the list of uh, projects I've created. Let me just use any one I want here. So, but if you want to change, you want to create under, you can just create a new project. But uh, for my account, I think I've uh, exceeded, I think I can't create more again. So I won't be creating more. I'm just going to be using one of these old, old ones. So what do you want to do? You want to come to your credentials here. So but it's already there. So these are the old credentials. Then you create a new credential. You click on old client ID. Now we want to create um, login for the web. Although it is Vue.js we are, are using as our front end. So you just click on web then you give this one any name it's called a view login so then this you are this is the domain where your application is posted so in my own case i'm working from my local so i exposed my web server so and i'm going to be using this one so you can use local host so it depends on what you're doing but in my own case i want to use this one so let's copy now come to your so you just add it here then so this aspect is uh the url where the google signing is okay well, let me see where you want it to be so you create you click this one now since i already know okay no i don't have to come here i'm sorry so since i know where i want to put it so this is where i want to put my google sign in google google iphone test so it's on this and uh, you are where, uh, where my Google sign is going to uh, is going to be uploaded. So, um, in in case you have uh, a subdomain, so you can just do something like this and uh, just put uh, so you just put it there. So that's it. But I'm not, I, I don't have it on the subdomain, so I'm not going to do that. So then you click on create. So if all goes well, okay. So it's this um, something, this is a, a client ID we created for you. So this is what we need. We don't need this. So just copy this. Now come to your application. So this is your view, this is your view project. Now, um, before we go into that, let's uh, first of all understand something here. Um, so on, on your view application, 
the uh, area where you um because this view i'm using here is view and laravel so um, you may be wondering what is blade of page when it's all just so i'm using laravel i'm using view with laravel so um and if you are using if you are creating if your project is just a pure view project that is not based on laravel where you will enter these um um now you see this link here you just copy this one where you are going to enter it is going to be um it's going to be in your index okay it's going to be in the index that aspect where you have your html tag your head tag and all so that's where you be entering this uh google uh piece of code so but in this case now i i have it uh, in my auto.blade.php so it, it, it doesn't mean just it depends on where your uh, where your entry point is okay so I'm going to leave this link in the um, in the description so just put this in your application now come to your view project so where you want your button to appear you already have that at the back of your mind in your project so but let us focus on this aspect so you need to put this I, well, I don't know how best you want to do it but i think it you have to mount it so that uh google can always check if either user is logged in or not so in, if you are, if you are using uh view 3 this is view 2 if you are using v3 so you want to use a composite uh, api so using the sets and, and method so you don't need to use mounted so that's visible very fine so but because this view to be using mounted and um so so this piece of code here so let me just explain this is your callback this callback will always be called by google to check whether the user is logged in or not so if the user is not logged in this will be initialized and um the callback you can see this is the callback here so now there's one thing you may be wondering where we are going to add the google client id that we just um created so this is where we are adding it i can just put the client id here so it's going to work but that's not where i want to put mine so i already have the environment view that i created um, so i already have the environment view i created here so this way i'm hide i'm adding my own client id so you just add your client id then so now for the case of those that are using laravel and the view so when you have your client id here now come back to your, your, your application here you will use your process as env to bring the uh, id in here then so that's just for the whole script is just from here to here and it's explanatory so all these are just these uh, styles of the um google button if you, if you think 400 is too wide you can reduce it if you want small or medium if you don't want the black color you can change it so i will leave the link of where you can generate the button and you will see you can play around it so um this is also one of the styles another style so but the main thing is this div so we are going to create because that's where the button will be so so this is the button here so you want to look at your application and know where exactly you want the button to appear um yep so uh so so that's just it's um then there's one thing um when the google assigning is successful a json sorry um an encoded response will be sent to your browser like a token but you will need uh to decode it yeah, you need to decode the JWT response. So, in order to do that, what you just do is just do install uh, JWT decode. Just do npm 
install um, DWC. I think the code I already have it installed, so I don't want to then bring it into your application. So when you do that, so that is the job it's doing. It. Then it takes the response and the credential that was that was returned. Then it brings out the ID, the full name. Again. So whatever you now want to do with it, it's now up to you. Um, so let me just show you uh, what I'm talking about. So now this is it. The reason you are, if you notice this, uh, this wasn't how Google signing was before. So this is the new method now. Now the reason we are seeing this here is because I've signed in. If I haven't signed in, that's for my password and everything. So I'm signed in, and when you are signed in, it stays here. So now when you sign in, these are the values that are returned. So what you're seeing here. So what you see here. This console log. So this is the representation here. So you can now play around anything you want to do, whether you want to use the image, email, whatever. So so that's how to integrate the sign in using Vue.js. And uh, so for those that are not using Laravel, so you just create your normal EMD file on the uh, Vue.js and because I think it's neater that we rather than just putting the uh, the whole uh, client ID. I think it's neater if you have it in your EMA file and just call it into your project. All right. So if you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section. And uh, if you find this tutorial helpful, please share it with your friends. Thank you.